I oftentimes find myself talking about things such as I'm going to read more, I'm going to do more pull-ups, I'm going to drink less coffee. The problem with these three statements is that they lack specificity. There's no planning system outlined for my already cluttered mind. And then comes in the TAP or the Trigger Action Planning. A TAP is essentially a self-regulatory self-improvement strategy in the form of an if this then that statement that can lead to better goal completion. TAPs can help us automate our intentions by linking our potential habits to a particular activity such as when I wake up I'll drink a glass of water, when I park my car I'll pull the handbrake, when I take a shower I'll think about the next steps of my day. You can use a TAP to create habits and have them running inside your brain's operating system's background without the need for conscious thinking. I know that conscious thinking is still a debatable topic, but bear with me for a second. Your brain will essentially have a set of rules based on conditional statements. If this, then that. And this way you'll be able to link a particular habit to a specific if that should be able to trigger the do this instance in your brain. So how do you start? First you pick an objective, such as doing more pull-ups. You should then be able to inject a trigger into your tap. The trigger needs to be, in this case, something physical, such as an actual pull-up bar. Immediately after seeing this trigger, you need to validate it and do the actual pull-ups, or even pull-up. There needs to be no exception, otherwise there's a high risk of breaking your tap. This is why you can simply do one pull-up, or just hang from the pull-up bar. And when you are just starting, your action should be something easy to achieve, simple and fast. The trigger you pick needs to be consistent, otherwise again, the tap can break. For a lot of people, doing more pull-ups by implementing a tap can be inconsistent as not everyone has such a device installed in their home. So pick one which fits your lifestyle and environment. You can replicate this in any situation that matches not only a physical device but a more complex system such as an independent physical space or time. When I see stairs, I'll climb. It's about eliminating the choice which usually keeps you stuck in one place or a mental rabbit hole. And this is why you need to practice your mental taps every day, installing a simple app on your smartphone such as Anki, which is a free open source flashcard app that utilizes space repetition, can actually do great things. And I believe that taking the time to install some basic productive mental taps first will eventually pay off. This has been Automating Habits with Cognitive Triggers in 100 seconds. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.